you need to create storyboards for movies or a commercial or a book, Catalyst might be for you. Let's check it out. So this is the Catalyst AI dashboard. These are some projects that I was working on. Uh, you can start just by creating a new project. You can give it a name. Just call it Hello World. Now you have two options. You can do Sketch, which is like a black and white, or Cinematic. We can do Cinematic for this one. Your aspect ratio, 16, 9, 1 by 1, 9, 16, Create. You can create from scratch. You could have Catalyst help you with the draft for the script, or you can import your CSV word or text file. I would say in most cases, for you writers out there, you're probably gonna wanna create empty projects, start from scratch, or import your script, your timeline blueprint that you're working with. But let's just go with help me. Now here in the script assistant, you can type in the basic idea of what is this movie, book, story going to be about? Let's just say, and living in New York that sells fruit. Let's try that for fun. And then click that little pink button there. And then here you go. It gives you a generated script. Uh, you can edit any of these at any time if you like to edit them or delete them. Let's just go with it, confirm, see what happens. It takes a little time for it to work with the prompting, and the AI to set up the visuals for each scene. Now you could see that Catalyst created some scenes with this character, Carlos. I also threw in a Camilla, and that's pretty cool. Now you can go in and edit any of the scenes you'd like. Click edit. Here is the description of shot one. Uh, you could change the angle from top down shot, straight on. Right now it's low view shot, we'll leave it like that. The hashtag right here shows the avatar, the face used. Catalyst provides certain characters that you can throw in. So we can change it here. You can click on it if you wanna change Carlos to another character. We could add another character. Say we don't like him. Go with this guy right here. Steve. Create. And now it says capture Steve. You can also go in here and change this around. The creative direction of it. So say we want to change it to capture Steve under natural city light, arranging the fruits, vibrant, vibrant colors. Let's do... Dark, I don't know, I know dark city light. Let's see what that does. Scroll down, if you wanna go down here too, we could change the scene, uh, the background. You could add a new scene, but let's leave it the same. Generate. So now we're changing the character. It takes a little time to generate. And you can see, look, it's darker now. And it's using our new actor. And if we like any of these, we can just click that, hit check. Go back and there you go. And at any time we can change any of the scenes and the characters. So if we want to add another scene, say we don't like New York City Street, hit add new. Let's do subway underground in New York City with dark lighting. Create and edit. Scroll down, subway, generate. This is in the subway, it looks like a fruit store, but that's the background. Then we would have to change the front shot. So it's mixing the worlds messed up where you can definitely, let's see, let's change all this. Capture shot, cheerfully greeting people on train. Could add all you want, but see what that does. Now, what Catalyst does, you can do this with Mid Journey Stable Diffusion. I believe this Catalyst works on Stable Diffusion, if I'm correct. I'm not sure, but you could do this with other tools. 
this just makes it easier for people that aren't using those tools and don't have a lot of experience with AI prompt engineering and you want consistent scenes and you just want to spit out storyboards very quickly. Here we go. So now you see that if they're on a subway, it, it captures the shot that we have. Only problem, if you notice the faces, very similar to our lead man, Carlos. This is biggest problem currently with Catalyst. You can only have one character at a time in a scene. You could have multiple, but if you want two characters, which most scenes need, two or more, you can't do that. Where you can add another character here. Say we wanted Carlos to throw in the scene with Camilla. We can't have both of them in this scene. So they're working on this. I believe that's coming soon. I don't know for a fact when, maybe a few weeks, a few months, this summer. This is very important if you're doing a storyboard, creating a storyboard. Yes, Catalyst does it quickly with AI, but it's pointless if you can't have more than one face in there. There are plenty of options though for characters. We go here, we could change. You can see the kids, teenagers, adults, elders. So these are your options right now. You can only use one of these characters at a time in the scene. Good thing about Catalyst, if you want consistency in your backgrounds and your scenes, it'll give you that. So you just have to work through it. Another thing I'm looking for is animals, mascots, cartoons, not humans. A lot of children books that can be storyboarded would be great with Catalyst, would be a great feature. Um, they don't offer this yet as well. Also being able to upload your own scenes, your own artwork, very important. So Catalyst has a ways to go, but if you need a solution using AI to get your scenes created quickly, that's great. You can also change poses by hitting this. I haven't been using this as much yet. Uh, it probably won't work with her as well, but if you move her around, let's see, generate. See if it moves her in the scene. All right, so yeah, moved her a little close up, but it's like any other AI tool. Still needs work, even mid journey. The other ones hit or miss often. It's still a lot of potential here. So you can adjust the script. You can go in and adjust the prompt. You have to experiment with it, just like any other tool. Play around, get used to it. You can present it. Storyboard. If you want here, this way you can click through, you can copy link, you can export it, you can save these. Uh, if you want to export in presentation mode, you can take the images and import them into other video tools, uh, video effect tools, and add effects to it. Catalyst also on their roadmap, they say they will be adding more video features that's coming soon. Again, another thing on the roadmap. Right now, this tool is still, for me, very beta, but it has a cool, unique use case for storyboarding. If, again, if it can let me allow, because as, as an artist, I would love to be able to add my own characters, my drawings, upload it to it, and have the AI kind of give the storyboard the backgrounds, the images, the consistency, because sometimes using mid journey is a little more of a headache to get that background consistently going. Where here we have all these scenes that we could set up, characters having more than one character in a scene, it could become a very powerful tool. And it's one of the early AI tools that is offering this kind of service. The sketch I've been using more, it gives us the black and white. Let's say we want the dog artist living in. Italy, we'll call it that, right? We'll do the, the sketch. It still can create the animals. Um, let's see, help me. Dog artist, living and painting in Italy. Again, most of you writers out there will probably upload your own script. Hit the pink button and here we go. Look through that, hit confirm. Let's let it generate the, it's finishing rendering. It does a nice job. 
And if you're a creative like myself, you don't have to use the, the dog or any of the art, but you can use the backgrounds for reference for storyboarding your comic strip or your animation. This is great where you have the scenery, the background, you can say, hey, I could throw my little sketch of the dog that I have in mind, the artist dog, he has a little beret, paintbrush, I'll throw them in there. And then I have these scenes and it created the cozy art studio, Italian Village Street, bustling piazza. You can edit all these backgrounds. You can edit the dogs, the characters, if we want, let's say go in here, let's edit this and let's change detailed pencil sketch. Let's see what it looks like. Detailed cartoon drawing instead of the dog artist. Just curious what it would look like. Keep everything else. Generate. Catalyst right now you can use as a guide. If you're an artist, it, it can assist you with your sketches and your drawings and give you inspiration and give you a preview of what you're planning on creating. All right, so click on, you can see cartoon. It's still not really cartoon drawing, but it's a little looser. This one's not bad. And then anytime we can try doing this position thing again, this works better with a figure. Yeah, see, it's not capturing, probably not going to work with that. So forget that. But if I would keep this, I would check it off and you can go back and you can create more scenes, more frames. If you'd like change story, change each scene, present it when it's done. You, this one's funny. It has a humanoid kind of characters, but you could present up there again. We can present this. Plenty of customization options. And over here, you can see your scenes. You can see the characters. We don't have any characters in this one because it's a dog artist. You can export it as a zip, PowerPoint, video, and copy presentation link. No animation features available currently. Animation coming soon. Again, I believe summer or end of the year, hopefully soon. But first priority, having multiple characters in a scene. Uh, and actually, 1B priority would be being able to upload custom characters, custom artwork drawings. That would be great. But try Catalyst, see what you think. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this one. A lot of potential. It can help creatives. If you're a creative, if you're an artist, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Uh, talk to you later.